Hi everyone, whether you're a hobbyist or professional engineer, at some point you start realizing that your regular soldering iron is not good enough for the types of soldering work you're doing. Your regular soldering iron may be overheating sensitive components on the circuit boards, especially semiconductor ones, and is not suitable for the high accuracy soldering of tiny components on circuit boards of modern electronic devices. Buying a soldering station will solve all of those problems quickly and easily. This is why in this video review we would like to point out what exactly you need to pay attention to when buying your first soldering iron. The most common but at the same time the most popular nowadays are contact soldering stations. Unlike the regular soldering stations, they've got both analog and digital temperature controllers. Thanks to the temperature control and stabilization and galvanic isolation, the soldering station are the best devices for convenient, reliable and high quality soldering. There's a huge range of soldering stations as they can be used with soldering irons with heating elements of different types and power. Let's look at them closer. The most common are the soldering stations with the soldering irons that have ceramic or nichrome heating elements. The soldering irons of these stations can reach their peak power of 50 watts, which is actually enough for most soldering jobs. The design of these soldering irons is pretty much the same as of the regular ones. They are composed of the soldering tip and the heating element that feeds into it. Such designs have some technical deficiencies though. In soldering stations, lucky for example, the soldering tip and the heating element have a tiny air gap in between them. This affects the heat transfer. Other models, for example, Arcta 301, don't have this issue. Despite all of this, the most important question is whether to choose the soldering station with a nichrome or ceramic heating element. The ceramic heating elements are characterized by better heat transfer. They heat up much faster and have a longer service life. They are, however, quite fragile. Ceramic heating elements have few distinguishing features such as small ridge at the top of them as well as a smooth surface. Nichrome heating elements have smooth and slightly rounded tips and they are much cheaper. Their service life is quite long too. For example, our Yet, the famous manufacturer of the most reliable soldering stations, is actually using nichrome heating elements in most of its products. We do need to mention that our Yet only uses high quality nichrome heating elements. The next type of soldering stations we're going to be looking at are with the soldering irons with Hakua T12 series soldering tips of variable power, 70 watts or higher. As you can see, the heating element is built in into the soldering tip. Because of this, the soldering tip can heat up and cool down quickly. It also maintains the high accuracy of the set temperature. It is important to note that these soldering stations can be used for both lead and lead free soldering. It is also worth looking at the contact soldering stations with inductive soldering irons that are also powerful and with the soldering tips that can heat up and cool down quickly. The tips of inductive soldering irons are heated by the induction of current flow and for the each temperature range you ideally need a different soldering tip. In reality, many models, for example quick branded ones, have temperature control sensors that are built in into the soldering tip and correspond with the soldering station control unit. Here, we would like to highlight the Goof PX201 model. At first glance, it looks like the regular soldering iron, but in fact, it's a proper compact size soldering station designed for lead soldering. Using the temperature controller, you can easily set the required temperature range. And it's got a big range of removable soldering tips, so it can be used for almost any sort of soldering work. Don't forget that the contact soldering method might not be suitable for all of the soldering jobs. That's why next we're going to be looking at the combined hot air soldering stations. Depending on the type of the hot air gun, they can be with a compressor or turbine. The compressor is built in into the control unit and generates the airflow. Literally the same thing is done by the turbine, but it's built in into the hot air gun handle. A huge advantage of the hot air gun soldering stations with compressor is a smoother airflow, very handy when working with the tiny components on the circuit boards. The compressor is making a bit of noise though. The soldering station with turbine do not generate such a smooth airflow. But the hot air guns of these stations have much wider use. You can even use them to repair the car bumpers. The hot air gun soldering stations are very easy in operation. You can adjust the airflow and the temperature of the hot air gun as well as the temperature of the soldering tip. I like the regular contact soldering stations, the hot air gun ones come together with the soldering iron with various soldering tips of different power. In addition, let's look at the combined soldering rework stations. You shouldn't be considering them as your first soldering station, but you definitely need to know about their existence. For example, our Ye T703A Plus rework station combines a powerful compressor hot air gun, a soldering iron for lead-free soldering, soldering fume extractor and a soldering gun for dismounting. Um, this rework station is suitable for both professional use, for example in electronics repair workshops 
and the soldering on the industrial scale. Our Yeah Int 866, a powerful hot air rework soldering station, which would be the perfect choice for the workshop specializing in complex mobile phone repairs. Thanks to its infrared preheater, you can easily replace the IC chips on the circuit boards. Moreover, the soldering station got a regular soldering iron and the hot air gun with a very handy holder that can be easily adjusted. In case you have any additional questions about selecting the soldering equipment, please visit the Toolboom website or contact our technical department who will be happy to assist.